Total body irradiation is a special kind of radiation treatment for cancers or healthcare conditions that come from the bone marrow. In Alberta, this treatment is only given in Calgary at the Tom Baker Cancer Center, but it is possible to have your consultation and CT simulation appointment closer to your home in another treatment center. Let's learn a little bit more about total body irradiation. So total body irradiation, or TBI for short, is radiotherapy delivered to the entire body prior to stem cell transplant. The purpose of the transplant is to replace the cancer cells with new healthy cells. Most people have um, a leukemia or a lymphoma. Um, a leukemia is a cancer of the blood system. Sometimes we use TBI as part of the transplant process for non-cancerous reasons too. Total body irradiation is only done at one cancer center in the province here at the Tom Baker Cancer Center because the stem cell transplants or the bone marrow transplants are given here at the Tom Baker Cancer Center. But we can see patients at the other cancer centers, uh, the Cross Cancer Institute in Edmonton or the community cancer centers in Red Deer or Lethbridge um, by way of telemedicine consultations. And there's a process involved with total body irradiation where you have to do a CT simulation or a planning CT scan, and that can certainly be done uh, at your, the closest cancer center to your home as well. Sometimes TBI is given as a single treatment, and sometimes it's given on the day of the transplant. The purpose of TBI before transplant is to destroy any cancer cells not easily reached by chemotherapy. Secondly, the purpose of TBI is to lower your immune system so that the body doesn't reject the stem cells. And lastly, TBI is used to create space for the marrow to grow. The process to plan the TBI um, after the initial consultation involves a CT simulation. It's usually coordinated, so it's done immediately after our consultation to save you a trip. But if we see you by telemedicine at one of the other sites, uh, usually what happens is they do that CT simulation there or on another day. The CT simulation process is performed by our experienced radiation therapists. It involves um, the patient coming in to the CT simulator and the patients are put in a position that mimics the actual treatment. Um, so we want the patients to be comfortable um, and the scan is done with the patient lying flat on their back and then we do the process again where the patient lies on their tummy. If you have any questions or concerns during the process, please don't hesitate to contact your healthcare team. So when we're delivering total body irradiation, it is uh, a slightly different technique than we normally deliver. The, the patient is on a, a custom, custom bed. And with that comes, we do a lot of dose monitoring. So we do what's called in vivo measurement, which just means that we measure dose on the, pa on the patient while we're delivering. Total body aeration is very different with comparison to every other site. Generally, um, when you're treating solid tumors, they're located in one spot in the body for total body aeration. We are looking at the, the bloodborne um, tum tumors, uh, cancers, that so you have to radiate the entire body. We have to do this basically a non-standard treatment positions. So we'll use some that you generally have to be a bit further away from the treatment machine. And in this case, we're lying them on uh, a bed, both face up and face down. And we actually put a plastic sheet in front of them that uh, helps even out the dose across their body. The machine moves uh, across their body to deliver an even dose. And you can see um, there is small movements in inside the machine to basically even that dose out across your, your body. After the patients have their TBI, they are uh, in the hospital and taken care of by the nurses up on the, on the ward. The TBI is a part of the overall treatment process involving many doctors, medical physicists, nurses, and radiation therapists. The patients can range from adults to young children, and our staff are very experienced working with kids. The most common side effects after radiation to the whole body is um, generalized tiredness or fatigue. Um, some people develop some nausea and occasionally vomiting. They can sometimes experience loose bowel movements or diarrhea, but the nurses are there uh, to treat any of these symptoms. Another common side effect is swelling of the 
uh, salivary glands in your cheeks and that can be treated as well. The TBI will likely make you lose your hair if the chemotherapy hasn't already, but it should grow back over time. There are other short-term side effects and long-term side effects that will be discussed in more detail at time of consultation with your doctor. If you're experiencing any of these side effects, please let your healthcare team know so that they can help you. When receiving total body irradiation, you will be monitored very closely by your healthcare team. But it's still important that you communicate your symptoms, ask questions, and ask for help if you need it. Total body irradiation is not an easy course of treatment, but together with your friends, family, and healthcare team, it is possible to live well with, through, and beyond your cancer. I wish you all the best.